uh, a, something other than a barbarian would have died. Um, and on occasion, those rooms do, do show up, and they're not hard. They're just they just appear hard because you know the the type of enemies that appear in it. So if you just take the time to just kind of, I want to say breathe, but just analyze the room a little bit, you will um, it, you probably won't die. And also in these rooms, um, these teleport rooms, they usually lead to another part of the castle. Like this is gonna lead to the land of darkness, which is which is death, which is death. Oh my God, it's death. Um, <laughs> yeah, don't go in there. Don't go in there if you don't want to die. Um, it, you know, like I said, a little bit of a little bit of mana, a little bit of health, always. There, there never isn't any, as far as I can tell, which is a good thing. Um, that's the only way I can go up is this way. Um, but yeah, that's usually what this game's all about. It, it'll every once in a while throw you one of those kind of rooms. And you just go, oh my god, oh my god, I'm see, oh my god, oh my god. It just looks bad, but it really isn't. That guy you have to worry about, but just take your time. Don't worry about it. Oh my god, I'm out of mana. That would have helped. You know, if you're gonna get hit, try not to get hit by the guys in red, because they're obviously higher level, because they can take more damage. And the knight won't attack you as long as you're not close enough to it. See? That simple. Retaliation. Mm, dot damage. Tell says this room's bigger. It's weird. Huh. Never seen that before. No. Okay. So, yeah. Just uh, be careful. You know, just take your time. Jump. Be patient. Eventually, you'll end up winning. If you if you panic, if you panic like crazy. Odds are you'll probably die because you'll you'll end up taking one initial hit and then you'll die from it. Blood chest plate. Ugh. I'd rather use runes because of the penalty associated with it. Ah, we're, we're doing pretty good on this run actually. Seventeen hundred. That's not bad. Although anything can kill me, so a little bit of mana, a little bit of health, and what's up here? The Maya. Okay. Well, all that's left is the boss. Yeah, let's give it a shot. On 37 health. All right. Let's do it. Probably gonna die. Oh, well, maybe not. I already know the pattern. But can I do enough damage quick enough? Nope. <laughs> and I'm dead. One hit, I'm dead. Well, I had low health to begin with, but that means his initial, his one hit already hit me for what at least 38, because I had 37, I think. Meh. Whatever. All right. I have to pick one. Gigantism. Eh, my phone. Whatever. Uh, I like the mana you get from breaking crap. That's that's pretty useful. Um, magic up, mage up, archmage, barbarian. That's a good one to have. Um, archmage. Why not? Let me see what I can buy actually before that. Retaliation. Returns damage. That sounds like a great idea actually. Um this one you do get like health back. I think at I think at the first initial one you get at least two health back for every kill. So two health uh, it's it sounds good, but I don't think so. I mean, you'd have to go full, full blown vampirism for that to be effective. I call it vampirism. It's not called vampirism, but whatever. Yeah. See, there's a problem. It works on bar barbarians because they have big health pools, but 
on a mage minus 30 health I don't think it'll dip you less than 30 but plus one vampirism you know you get a little bit of damage but it's just it's just so little it's so little um what do we call it? it it's such a small health pool it doesn't actually matter who the hell bugged me doing it live I don't care screw you email all right take any damage yet. I'll let them come me. I'll let them hit me. I don't want to test out the retaliation in that way. Actually, I'm curious. Does that just apply for ranged attacks or all attacks? Oh, all attacks. Okay. Interesting. You build up enough damage reduction that would be really useful because it... I don't know if it's a flat 10, because I've never actually used the rune. I've had it, I've unlocked it, I've never actually used it though. It's interesting. Because you can only have one save state, and I deleted it in starting this playthrough out. But I think it's a percentage, as far as I can tell. It's percentage based. Because that did go up. Maybe it's based on their health. Probably. Wow, I'm taking so many, da so much hit, so much damage for no good reason. Uh, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Yeah, don't worry about it. All right. Troll. Ow! God damn it. And that sword is actually pretty useful for zoning, for zoning out, like those floating heads. Um, it'll knock them back, and if they're still trying to charge you, they'll just run into it and take damage on their own, which is pretty useful. But you need the manacle for it. And 15 a pop at 57. What's that? Like three uses? Yeah, it's exactly three uses. You run out, and also these. Um, you can tell. I mean, you just have to be sort of close to these spike traps. I mean, you, you can just pass through them, and they'll still set them off. So, you know, if you're jumping and you don't quite make the platform, and the spike's gonna come up, it's gonna hit you. So that's that's rather annoying. Like if I shorted that jump, I probably you know would have took damage. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to take more damage because I want to try and have a good run, but I don't think I will. Ow. As it stands right now, I'm not having a good run. Come on. Come on. Alright. It's actually harder the other way for whatever reason. What I get? Items. Yeah. I gotta build up items too. That's actually important. Yeah, screw this room. <laughs> oh god. Um two chests. Um, my only my only hope would be um, that if I were to drop down, um, <laughs> I drop down and I kill those two guys before they hit me, but land in such a way that they're that the other knight's um, range stability doesn't hit me on top of the. There you go. It just looks bad. It's actually not that bad. 
I swear, if I die to that last one, I'm gonna be pissed. That's why you gotta build up the attack damage, bro. That's why you gotta build it up. Otherwise, you just did. I thought for sure I was gonna die. The second I jumped down, I'm like, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Nope, not dead. This room I'll die, without a doubt. Up. Up. Nice. Nice. I actually survived, survived. And that's why you need double jump. I'm a crap. See? You put that up, it zones them out, they come walking back into it, and it will kill them. Now I'm dead. <coughs> God damn it. That wasn't too bad of a run. That wasn't too bad. Barbarian gigantism. Probably this one. And let's see what I can buy first before I go build stats. What's this? Haste rune. Basic move speed. Not bad. Retaliation. I think it's good. Flight. Hmm. Let's try it out. Oh, okay. You hold it for what? Uh, point eight seconds. Let's see. Point six. Yeah, point six. Not bad. Night helm. Yeah, let's, let's actually put some armor on this chick. No. All right. Um. Yup. That's actually pretty interesting, actually. But it also counts as a slow fall after falling. No, I wanted to go down like that. Well, whatever. All right, I'm gonna leave it at that. Uh, the hell, is that my old stuff? No, probably not. I'm gonna leave it at that. Um, I'll definitely come back to this. Um, won't change. I won't build, I won't play off, off screen and try to farm stats or whatever. But, uh, if you're watching this and you enjoyed it and you like the fact I ramble or you don't like the fact I ramble Let me know leave a comment. I like to read them and I do respond to them. So thanks for watching guys